All right, Daniel, thank you. Well, the threat of rain is going to be with us as well as up there in Corpus for a couple more days. And Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale says that means flash flooding is going to be a very real concern for the RGV. It really is. Now through Saturday, we've got a flash flood watch for the entire Rio Grande Valley. A sign of things to come? Yeah, lots of clouds out there around Edinburgh. And yeah, we've already had some rain. We'll have more before now or before Saturday rolls around. Now through Saturday, that is for you, Edinburgh. And everyone else in the Rio Grande Valley has this opportunity. So flash flooding concerns, number one on the list, a 50 to 70% chance for rain, again, now through Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, really. Uh, street flooding is going to be an issue, as well as even neighborhood flooding is going to be an issue in some spots. Does your area flood easily? Well, then you need to be uh, just waiting and being ready to move if need be. Uh, Valley-wide, yes. Heavy downpours possible, you bet. And again, every drop of rain is potential runoff because the ground is wet. Here you can see radar showing, yeah, we've had our, most of our lightning over the last half hour has been in Star County, all this lifting north of Liguria and Rio Grande City, and more that's been moving on through uh, Lynn San Manuel north of Edinburgh. All that's moving on off too, but there'll be more as we run on through the next several hours. Take a look at Futurecast, short-range version. 8 o'clock tonight on through midnight. There you go, another little batch. Some of that energy coming across Mexico on across the valley will kind of slosh to the east, and then that will make another broken line of rain and thunderstorm activity to push through the valley. That's 1 to 3 a.m. overnight, and then pushing on out. So, yeah, get ready. Again, you got to keep your senses about you because if your area floods easily and in the middle of the night some of this water could start to rise, be on the lookout. Flash flood watch, in effect, now through, or actually 7 o'clock, but who's counting? Now through 7 a.m. Saturday. And again, we're looking at the possibility of rain and thunderstorms overnight tonight at 70%, 73 degrees, the overnight low. Your commute tomorrow morning, as you saw with the computer model, it looks like it's going to back off a little bit uh, for the morning, but still be prepared uh, to run into some wet roads for sure. Uh, 83 by noon. And that chance for rain pegged at at least 60% throughout the day, and then 84 at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Here's a look at Futurecast for tomorrow specifically, not the overnight, but tomorrow. We'll start out at 6 a.m. See that little break there turns into a substantial chance for some showers and thunderstorms rolling on into 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, the common theme running through the forecast through Saturday, repeated bouts of rain with embedded thunderstorms, which may produce pockets of heavy rain and even the potential for an isolated severe thunderstorm. It's possible. Then we go to Saturday, uh, Saturday on about 3 a.m. Friday night to Saturday morning, another band expected to come on down through the valley. So wowzers. Yeah, it could be a uh, wet city for a lot of us moving on through. Now, slow your roll if you're going to be driving in the rain. Give yourself extra distance. Watch for water on the roads. Never drive through standing water. Mm -mm -mm. And check the tires. Make sure they're up to snuff. The severe threat, basically the Storm Prediction Center just keeps us in a general thunderstorm category for tomorrow and Saturday. But that could still produce some gusty winds with cells and uh, lightning. You bet it always does that around here. Hail, we had some pea size today, Kennedy County, and um, probably at least it was showing up on radar around eastern Willacy. So again, that's an issue, but small hail expected. But the flooding potential is going to be the number one thing. Uh, the upper level low that's coming across Mexico into Texas, that's what's generating all this. And that's going to continue to generate more of it through Friday and into Saturday, and then finally move north of us on Sunday. So we're finally out of the reach or fetch of this thing as we move on into Sunday. Thank goodness, because between now and then it's going to get kind of wet around here. We're looking at several inches of rain, two to three to four inches of rain. And again, already for the last 30 days, we've had a ton of rain around the valley. So you're either in the wet or you're in the wetter. That's the way it is around the valley. Ah, gee whiz, it was just a few weeks ago. It was drought city, not wet city around here. This extended forecast shows that we're going to be looking at warmer, drier conditions next week.